Jake Vossen, Kemper Agronomy Lead with Liquor Grove. So I wanted to take the opportunity to show um, our sales team and farmers, you know, what starter fertilizer injury actually looks like, right? So I think Jenna panned around a little bit and you can see here in this plot, there's a really bad stand that's characterized by very uneven plants and a lack of plants in general, right? And then when you dig up the seeds, you know, they're, they're, they literally did nothing, right? So what happens when you have starter fertilizer injury is essentially that starter is salty, right? So it sucks all the water away from the seed and then the seed can imbibe water. So these seeds literally have not imbibed water because they were basically sitting in fertilizer that did not allow the water to come across that salt gradient, right? So they've done nothing. So there's really only two things that cause seeds not to germinate. Either you had starter fertilizer injury or you had bad germ, okay, one of the two. And I know it's not bad germ because that plot right there is the same exact hybrid and there was no starter fertilizer put in furrow um, and it germinated just fine. I'll also say that we applied five and a half gallons of 624.6 per acre in furrow here. It is a very sandy soil. But there's other plots out here that have the same treatment that don't have any injury. So I think this was a mistake on our part. I think that we must have had ATS or UAN in the line when we started and that's why we had injury here. So I don't, I don't think that the, that, that five and a half gallons of 624.6 was too much. It is a sandy soil that was dry when we planted it. But again, we have other in furrow treatments at the same rates and have no trouble. So. Anyway, I wanted to take the opportunity to show you what starter fertilizer injury looks like because sometime in your life you will uh, come across this. Thanks.